Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I know, I know I am late to the party. I was traveling and this is why I couldn't react to this video any sooner. Nevertheless, today we will finally watch it. It's the video called Russian Witch Says Her Magic Doesn't Work on Muslims. I haven't watched the video yet. I have absolutely no idea what it is about. I've only seen that it blew up on social media and went viral over the past one or two weeks or so. As always, guys, please do me the favor and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Over 70% of my views come from unsubscribed viewers. Therefore, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And with no further ado, let's have a look. It's more difficult to influence a person if he keeps his thoughts in purity. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. When faced with various religions, okay. it is very difficult to influence Muslims. They are in a constant connection with the Agrigor. They do namaz every day and read prayers on a daily basis. They are constantly under some kind of a dome, so it is very difficult to influence them. When you start impacting a person, he begins to address in a prayer. Indeed, many of them are very different from those who come to church only when everything is bad in their life. Right. They come to sure. pray and then for five years they forget about God, some canons and so on. Makes absolutely perfect sense. Coming from Christianity with my parents, we went to church maybe once, maybe twice per year for Easter and for Christmas, if at all. There were some Christmas where we didn't go to church at all and there were some Easter holidays where we didn't go to church either. If you are a true Muslim, on the other hand, you're praying five times a day, I would believe that you would be much safer of such attacks. Muslims, sure. as a rule, passionately believe and passionately give energy to their aggregor. And this what is an egregore? Egregore protects them very well. That's why it is very difficult to work to make any kind of influence on a true Muslim believer. Is this some kind of a good egregore? Well, for them, yes. This egregore is good for adepts who contribute good energy to it. How do you sense it? For instance, you have found an energy trace of such person. What's next? Do you try to drag... I don't really understand what she means by egregore. Out of this context, it somehow sounds like a jinn or like an angel, some sort of deity that protects you. But if you are a Muslim, you're not praying to an egregore, you're praying to Allah, you're praying to God him somehow to visualize this threat and you fail or how do you do that it disappears i cannot get a grip on it i focus on it but something immediately knocks me out of the flow just like that or i visualize a person in front of me clearly and can affect him even at a mental level but some image is so not extreme evil man even if this would be just mumbo jumbo just make believe to get into this position where this woman is at dressed in black and wanting to spiritually influence other people what is wrong with you not created honestly in my what's mind going on at all i even look at a photo reproduce an image but it vanishes from my mind thus i can clearly see that a person is covered with something does this only work with muslims it does for me nowadays wow. there are very few people among christians who truly believe even those who write in their comments that God is in the soul, that they are all faithful believers, but in reality they are not. Even most often they write that all this is a sin, but then ask in a private message how to make a robin spell. Such cases also happen. A robin spell? A robin spell. Yeah, that is true. I've seen a lot of so-called Christians on the Balkan really being involved in all kinds of superstitions and going to so-called seers in which they can change change the future even allegedly but to be fair my wife comes from senegal and senegal is 90 percent muslim roughly and even there they have those superstitions seers and whatnot so unfortunately muslims and christians alike can fall for those traps message how to make a robin spell such cases also happen a robin spell a robin spell 
What is it? It means. All right, guys, and this already it. The video cuts off their super, super interesting perspective. As I said throughout the video, for me, it's absolutely mind blowing that people waste their lives on such a pursuit, manipulating other people through dark magic. But what will you do? Some people truly fell trap for Satan himself, I would say, just like this lady here. Absolutely repulsive for me personally. Absolutely something that I cannot understand, cannot grasp. I never understood why people want to inflict harm on others physically or spiritually in this sense. Nevertheless, it makes sense, of course, that if you are a true Muslim that prays five times per day, you should be shielded, you should be guarded. She mentioned Christians here as being not true believers. I do agree with that. But as I mentioned in previous videos, unfortunately, especially in Germany, I've met many, many so-called Muslims that weren't true believers either. They didn't pray five times per day. They drank alcohol. The only sin that they abstained from was eating pig. And I would say that those particular Muslims would be under the same amount of spiritual attacks as the Christians. In the end, if you are a true believer and you're praying five times per day, you should be shielded. All right, guys, but this is it for today's short video. Leave it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your on going support. As always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.